Hello. Good morning, everyone. The idea of this uh, presentation is to change some perceptions. So I would ask you to think, what do you know about uh, Spain and Andalusia in particular? And uh, we will check at the end of the presentation. So we are going to, to talk about some things that you probably know at, about Spain and Andalusia and some things that you probably don't. So first, let's talk a little bit about the uh, cinema. I'm sure uh, most of you recognize these scenes from Star Wars, the second episode, Attack of the Clones, that uh, these scenes um, supposedly happen in Naboo, the planet Naboo, or this other scene from James Bond movie, Die Another Day. Well, they actually are in the first one is Seville, is the Plaza de España. And the second is a, a beach in Cadiz, uh, La Playa de la Caleta. So, as you probably know, Spain is um, one of the most visited countries in the world. In fact, it's the second most visited country in the world, only after France. Okay. And you can see on the image on your upper right part, the Alhambra of the Granada, the most visited monument in Spain. Also, we have the Mosque of Córdoba on the left, and again, the Plaza España in Seville. Some of the pictures, you can see now the um, Tarifa, Europe's capital of kitesurfing, uh, or the wine cellars from uh, Jerez, the, sh the sherry, famous sherry of Jerez, or Manzanilla from San Lucar, or Sierra Nevada Ski Resort, the southernmost ski resort in Europe. Of course, the gastronomy with the very calm uh, shrimps, uh, golf courses, beaches. So all of that, I'm sure you you probably, or most of you probably know about Spain, about Andalusia. And then let's start talking about what you probably don't know so much. It's the business side of Andalusia. We are aware that it's less known for many people. And uh, we often have visits of uh, companies or CEOs that uh, come to Andalusia maybe for some days of tourism. And then when they see the entrepreneurial and the part, they are surprised. Just you can see some examples there. For example, the tech parks of Malaga and Sevilla. They are among the biggest tech parks in Europe. For example, the, the one in Sevilla is the has the biggest revenue of all tech parks in Spain. Also on the right side, you can see the Catec Test Lab is an advanced uh, aerospace center, which is, uh, has been uh, awarded several prizes, including, for example, one prize from the European Commission for the most innovative company in Europe. So, Having uh, known that we are less uh, known for this business side of Andalusia, um, let us say that uh, we have a very business friendly administration that understands the challenge that we have in this part. We, are, we, we can also say we have political stability. We, we have had it for many years. And the special business friendly administration that is pushing to ease the life of all companies that are established or considered to establish in Andalusia. And one of the things that we do to help with this purpose is a survey from the a survey of the business climate in Andalusia from the perspective of foreign companies. This survey is carried out by a ES Business School and is done for Spain as a whole and also for, for Andalusia. Okay. And uh, of course, despite this year's result due to the pandemic that 
was uh, was not so good as other years. In general, the results are are, are good, and the um, Andalusia consistently ranks a little bit better than Spain in general. And uh, I would like to focus on these four aspects that you can that you see, that are the four aspects that foreign companies mention uh, as the main or the key factors that they like or they value about Andalusia. Okay, now we will talk a little bit of each one of those with some data, as we say, and some um, data and some factors that I think um, are a little bit unknown. If we start by talking about infrastructure, then we start with the transport infrastructure. We have an excellent and modern transport network in Andalusia. For example, talking about the high-speed rail network, it's the third or maybe second, it is, it is unclear now at the moment, um, rail network in the world. First is China, it's obviously it's a huge country, and second, it's between Spain and Japan, the, the, depending on the number of kilometers of rail network built at the moment. And in Andalusia in particular, we have the four main cities, Seville, Malaga, Cordoba, and Granada, connected by high-speed train, and then connected to Madrid, Barcelona, and other cities in Spain. We also have uh, five international airports in Andalusia, and of which, for example, with Malaga only, we carry out more than 20 million people every year. Also, ports. We have the, the biggest port, the biggest container port in the Mediterranean Sea, is the port of Algeciras in Cadiz, and also well, ten ports in, in general. And also a very a very wide network of motorways and highways, where you can see also another curious fact. First, worldwide in road connectivity in Spain in general and, and in Andalusia. If we go to technology infrastructure, again, we have some interesting information. For example, third largest fiber optic network worldwide. In this case, it is only after South Korea and Japan. Right? We have more fiber, more optic fiber in Spain than in Germany, France, Italy, and the UK com all combined. Okay? Also, you can see the highest fiber to the home penetration rate of all the European Union. And for example, during again during the pandemic of COVID, if you think which was the only country in Europe where the big platforms like Netflix didn't have to reduce the quality of their streaming, it was Spain because of the quality of the fiber optic network. In the rest, they had to reduce the quality of the streaming for the networks not to collapse. Then, second point that we mentioned in the in the survey was market size. You can see we are strategically located at the south of the European Union. Where Spain is the fourth economy of the EU, and Andalusia is the second biggest region and the most populated region in Spain. And the Andalusia alone is bigger than countries like Austria or Swiss. So that, coupled with this strategic location in the Strait of Gibraltar, makes us the perfect gateway for those companies that are willing to do business within Europe or willing to do business with the north of Africa while maintaining the legal security of the, of the European Union. And of course, also to conduct business with America due to our important cultural and economic ties with this continent. Here I would like to mention just a couple of a couple of data. Andalusia is an exporting region, mainly in the food sector, which is very known, but also mining and aeronautics, being one of the one of the main sector for exports in Andalusia. 
Um, by the way, we have a, a trade surplus of more than 3 billion euros in Andalusia with a record even in this in this difficult year of 2020. And you can see also the main destination of our exports, like Germany, France, Italy, etc. Then we move on to the third aspect that mentioned in the in the survey. There is the talent or the human capital, which is one of the main factors lately for companies. And it's increasing every day, this, uh, these factors. Here I would like to mention some uh, facts. For example, uh, talking about international talent, um, Seville and Granada, or universities of Seville and Granada, are consistently among the first and that attracts uh, international students from all Europe and, uh, and, and beyond every year that want to study abroad and they come to, to Andalusia. Also, we have been, because we understand the importance of this uh, factor, we have been expanding the international education in second grade, being available now in the whole Andalusia. And um, we have, okay, you can see, 10 public universities, nine business schools, 16 engineering schools, well, etc. But the, the most important uh, things to remember is that in Andalusia, there is a high availability of skilled workers. We have many cases, and we will, you will see it in a little bit um, further than the presentation. That many companies are coming to Andalusia, where, and they can because they can find people, they can find profiles here that are very difficult to find uh, elsewhere in Europe or even in Spain. And still in Andalusia, it's, it's possible. Also, we are. Another thing, important thing, is a trait of character of Spanish and Andalusian in particular is the creativity. In a world with AI and robotics is becoming more and more the useful thing, the recruiters find and tell that creativity will be a um, key issue when, when looking for, for people. So this is another, another good point to highlight. And also another thing that I would like to mention is the low rotation of personnel in Andalusia. So when uh, in other cities that are probably um, or have probably more industry or more companies than here, they find that they're in a war where people change or switch companies every two, three months. So that this, this is not going to happen here in Andalusia. And companies are very happy with this uh, with this uh, thing because people if they have a good job and they are happy here they will not move to find another job because this is also one of the important things about this the quality of life that we that we mentioned at the beginning of the presentation then to sum up so we talk a little bit about infrastructure Talk a little bit about the uh, talent, market size, quality of life. I, I mentioned it at the beginning of the presentation, or where I was showing you these pictures of Andalusia. Now let me say a little, a little, a little words about the key sectors in Andalusia. So we have a combination of well-established sectors and other emerging, industri emerging industrial, industrial sectors. For example, we have the food industry, the agri-food, where we are the first uh, olive oil and olives producer in the, in the world, and also the first organic product producers in Europe. For example, in, in mining, we have the largest reserve of non-ferrous minerals in Europe, or in bio, for example, we can say we, are, we were one of the first regions to authorize the embryonic stem cell research. And, and finalize also, for example, in aerospace, we have a long standing tradition of over 100 years, especially in, in the area of Seville and Cadiz, in the, in the engineering and assembling of uh, aircrafts, and being now one of the only three European clusters 
along with Toulouse and Hamburg, where you where you have a final assembly line of a plane. In this case, the Airbus A400M. Now you can see some success cases. Of course, there are there are a lot of things to mention, a lot of companies. But uh, just to name just a few, you can see, for example, Ryanair with the uh, with a maintenance and repair base operation in Seville, the only one the only one in Spain, and the second that the, the company has in all Europe, uh, with the same size for the first one that is in the UK. And they specifically mentioned in the in the presentation, and I'm quoting them, that the, they came to Seville not because of the sun, which is so clear, but not because of the sun, but because the quality of our engineers. So you can ask them. Also, we have mentioned Renault, manufacturing gearboxes in Seville, Airbus with plants in Seville and Cadiz, Pfizer, the multinational Pfizer, very famous, especially now with the vaccines of uh, the COVID, also recently announced that it's coming or opening an establishment in Andalusia. And specifically, you can see in these last months some other companies that have announced publicly that are opening in Andalusia. For example, Google with this cybersecurity center of excellence with an investment of more than 600 million euros. And the story behind that is because Google bought a company uh, that was, that was uh, from Malaga, Virus Total, bought the company. And um, the the deal was that the, the team had to had to remain in Andalusia because they wanted to remain here. And uh, with this seed, it has been growing. And now they announced that this uh, this center, this cyber security center of excellence, is going to be based here because of that. Also, we have to mention the multinational American company Solera, which develops software and uh, just uh, announced uh, they are they opened a center in Seville where they already have more than 250 people working there in just two three months. Or Decra, a multinational German company that uh, recently chose Malaga for their for their global IT hub. Also, the Finland Finnish company Lumen that uh, recently also announced that this chose Malaga for the, for the new factory, for Deloitte, for the uh, European Technology Center. And I could go on and go on. So what can we do for you to help consider Andalusia? So uh, our brand is Invest in Andalusia. It's an, in, it's an initiative supported by the regional government to help attract foreign direct investment to the region. And we offer a personalized free support during the decision making process and also during the implementation phase with anything that you need to take the decision. What, what we only want is that you consider Andalusia because we know that in, in general, and, uh, and uh, as I was talking at the beginning of the pre presentation, we know that we are very, well known for tourism, not for business. I hope this presentation has changed a little bit some some of this perception with this, uh, I think, remarkable facts, curiosities, but, um, but uh, important things. And uh, we would ask you to consider Andalusia. We are sure if you consider it, you will change your mind and you will likely come here. And uh, you can see, we can uh, help you with anything you need from the planning of the investment, helping you finding the location with the strategy. And then when you are with the, during the setup phase, uh, meeting with potential partners or advising on human resources availability or compar comparisons of labor costs, access, accessing finance, etc. And uh, not only that, but also once you are established in Andalusia, we can also help during the follow-up of your project, development of new investments, et cetera, et cetera. I hope uh, this uh, help you 
a little bit. I hope um, you change a little bit your perceptions. And um, first, I would like to, to put you a video, promotional video that we have.
Well, I hope you liked the video. Maybe it's explained better than me. And now uh, I, I'm at your disposition for any questions that you may want to, to ask. Thank you very much.